and uh, everybody welcome in uh, to F1 20 2 this is a driver career if you can't tell already we are currently in Formula 2 doing uh, qualifying here at the Bahrain Grand Prix we've just started a flying lap as we head down into turn 1 The breaking point and breaking style is much different between Formula 2 and Formula 1. Uh, one of the main differences is that Formula 2 only has 6 gears and the engine goes up to 9,500 RPM versus 13,500 RPM. Uh, there's no energy recovery system. There's a decent amount that's different. Um, race format is also one of them. You have much different teams. Currently I'm racing with MP Motorsport. Yeah, and one thing that's also different is if you're too aggressive onto the brakes into a turn, it's much, much easier to slide since they're basically running last year's aerodynamic regulations. Enzo Fittipaldi. I put too much power into that, so I ran wide. Now this straight, you can get going pretty fast in an F1 car, especially when following with ERS, basically at full deployment. And as we come across the line, it is a 148.1. But that's not going to be a really strong quality. And you may have heard in the background my wheel, or heard the car starting to loosen up and my wheel getting mad. So we're going to end up having to do yet another run of quality around this track. So my driver's name is Nick DeVries. This is a real life driver. I believe he's currently racing in. Um, he's either a reserve driver or racing in Formula E. So when my car crosses over the line, it's basically going to be just. Gonna have to coast. Dan Tictum is behind us, who is in first place, the fastest time. Teammate status. So my teammate obviously hasn't put in a lap time yet. And now is the time I have to start to worry about. Will I have enough fuel to make it over the line? And Don Tictum is pulling a strong toe off of me. <sighs> we made it over the line with very little improvement at all. My car is now running in low fuel mode. Which is what they made the return to car return to garage button for. Is when you forget that you need uh, you need fuel for the car to run. So currently P ten With Lyrum is in Delhi as our teammate. And you may see some drivers that are currently racing, so Jack Aitken, Yuri Vips, um, most people are using Felipe Drugovich, 
and their My Team careers. Uh, Zhou Guan Yu is racing for AlphaTauri. Oscar Piastri has also been using a lot. Dan Tictum. Uh, um, and Rob well, Robert Schwartzman hasn't gone much further. So if we look, most of the drivers that are out there right now, except Jack Aitken, are on an in-lap. But if we just watch and wait for Jack to cross from the line, we should be pretty shortly here. He's going into an in-lap. Oh, and now we're last place. So we have no other option except to go back out on the church on to the track and try and see if we can improve a little bit. going to be no other drivers out here with me, so I'll have a completely clear track and not have to worry about traffic. But unfortunately, I won't be able to really pull any toes, which is just getting a slipstream off of a car or head. Yeah, when the car detaches, you basically lose complete control. I used a flashback, yes or no. Oh no, that's unrealistic. F1 drivers don't get flashbacks, so why should I use flashbacks? Because I can. come to basically the slowest part of the track, or the slowest sector. And we make our way around turn 10. And we step on the power up eight tenths right now. Fastest lap overall. I'm a good way slower than Felipe Tsukovic. But No improvement at all. Okay, we can take you this lap. And because I'm an angry goldfish, I'm just gonna just kind of just, you know. And look, I got disqualified. But it won't matter since I'll be starting from P21 either way. And we have one, two, three, four, five. Five red lights, and we are underway here at the 2022 or the 2021 Formula 2 Bahrain Grand Prix. And it looks like we got a little bit of a slow start out of there. So we're just going to go and take a quick look back 
to the start of the race. I don't want to see what caused Nick DeVries to have such a poor start. This is from his perspective, and the lights go out, and it looks like... Let's just go a little bit further back to four lights. Five lights out, and it looks like he just stalls. And the rest of the pack gets away really strong and starts to pull a pretty big gap away from him. Um, so Nick DeVries is now left trying to push ahead and catch back up. And it looks like he just mistimed his corner a little bit. And Felipe is going to drop all the way back down to 18th. Right behind Gutierrez Semana. And it looks like Nick DeVries got past Zhoguan Yu. And down to the breaking point of turn 11. Nick is going to pass two drivers. And there's yellow flags into turn 1. Yellow flags into turn 1. Enzo tries to make a dive down on inside of me. But the yellow flags are flying. So that's not allowed. And it looks like Yuri Veeps is out of this race. You need to know. And let's go ahead and ride on board with Nick. And it looks like he was spun. So we're going to move back. I'm just going to fly up to Enzo. So back here after, tur after turn three, Enzo looks like he just takes a wide line. And then Neek is just trying to, is moving in back onto the racing line and they collide. Let's start down here at turn two. Into the entrance of turn three, he just loses it and taps the wall. He backs up and then just gets caught into the gravel. Yeah, because I D uh, DSQ'd, which was a very which was very unfortunate. And we have two, three, four, five red lights, and we are underway. Here for the feature race. All 16 laps of the feature race was are being brought to you. And Robert Schwartzman, if you can just go ahead and take a look down onto the um, driver position board, you can see that a whole bunch of drivers are making moves. And Nick Vries is making a move try and trying to make a move up into here. At one point, was up into 17th place, and now he has fallen back down to the 19th place and tailing right behind Rod and Sonny with Joe Bonnie right behind him. Your top three are Robert Schwartzman, Felipe Drugovic, and Oscar Patrese. And then now if we head down into turn four, Nick makes the move on Christian and Roy up into the 17th. Now right behind uh, Marino Sato. And the front wing looks like it has some scuffs on it. And right now we're kind of like in the lead of a train. And then we make the dive onto Tio Pichel. But Tio makes the move back off of us. Now we're heading down onto the long, down into the long right downhill left-hander of turn 10 and we made the move on to Pichel and now we are chasing after Enzo Fittipaldi and Mario Sada and it looks like we're going to be able to get the move on Enzo but Enzo is having a good chase after us and then we move on to up to lap 9 and we are in 11th place and then we are about to overtake Yuri uh, uh, Jehan uh, Deruvela. I'm now chasing after Marcus Armstrong. And no, no, we have spun. We have spun. We have spun. And let's go back and take a look at that. So just Deruvela just turns in on us and spins us away. We hit the wall, but we do not receive any damage to the rear wing, and we keep those, and we keep the car moving, and we don't spin the tires. And then Roy Nisani hits our rear wing and breaks off some of his wing. Now we move on to lap 14. We are in P16, chasing after Mario Sada and Enzo Fittipaldi. And then we dive bomb down the both of them, and then Enzo is rubbing alongside of us, and then. Then Mario tries to make the move on us, and we head on to lap 16, and the flag is flying with us, Nick DeVries, taking in P14, your top three. Well, 
and Robert Schwartzman is your winner of the Secure Feature, the 2021 Formula 2 Secure Grand Prix Feature Race. And he is a member of the Ferrari. Always with me. Take a look at the driver's stats. Robert Schwartzman takes the lead. 